Assalamu alaikum, Samir Soge with you. In this video, I'll review this four port SSR relay module from Armtronics. Firstly, thanks to uh, Armtronics for giving me this board for free. If you are into home automation, such a board can be very helpful uh, to control the electrical appliances like light, fan, etc. from a web interface. You can even integrate this thing with uh, OpenHab or uh, Amazon Echo. Since this is powered by SSR relay rated at 2 amps, it is not advisable to make a power extension out of it because you never know anyone at your home can connect anything which is rated higher than 2 amps to it and the fuse would blow. So uh, if you are having a switch box from which your home lighting and fan etc goes, you can install this over there so that you can control your lights and fans that way. This board is uh, powered by ESP8266. It has uh, four uh, solid state relays which are rated at 2 amps. These uh, uh, outputs are protected by 2 amp uh, PCB fuses. There is an AC to DC module. You can program this board using micro USB cable. There is no need for a USB to serial converter. There are pads on the board which take out the outputs of ESP8266 12E so you can solder uh, header strips to make use of uh, unused input outputs keep on watching and I'll demo this board for you thank you so let's get started uh, this is the board over here these are the four SSR relays since I don't have that many bulbs for testing I have connected two bulbs one is this one going to first terminal and this is this incandescent bulb and the other is a CFL bulb there are two terminals which are free the first one is uh, the mains which I have connected this thing uh, the Arduino code is already uh, provided by the board manufacturer and it's a pretty decent code it's already fed in there by default so let's uh, switch the board on and see how it works okay now I have powered the board on you can see that the LED is on it it will form an access point the ESP8266 by the name Armtronics by uh, followed by the MAC address so let's check whether it's there or not okay so this is the access point being generated by the ESP8266 let's join that it will have an IP address of 192.168.4.1 so as soon as it is connected we can access that page So this is the page of the ESP8266. It is showing me all the available access points, the two uh, modes of controlling this uh, board. One is via HTTP, another is via MQTT. Uh, I'm not running MQTT, so I will go with uh, HTTP. I'll join this network, which is my Wi-Fi network. Let's enter the password. Submit. So I'll again join the access point of my home. now let's control the board from the IP address which it currently has taken this you can come to know either from the router or you can connect a USB cable to the ESP8266 board and via serial you can come to know what IP address it has taken so this is now the configuration of the ESP8266 this is the page you can go over here and you can control the pins 
as i said this one is meant for the incandescent bulb let's try that and see okay it's switching on submit switched off now the second one is the cfl bulb as you can see it turned on and off similarly you can connect other outputs to the other two relays and uh, you can have a proper home automation setup thanks for watching and do subscribe